number 42. A syringe at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius is filled with liquid ether in such a way that there is no space for any vapor. If the temperature is kept constant and the plunger is withdrawn to create a volume that can't be occupied by vapor, what would be the approximate pressure of the vapor produced? Okay, so basically here, they gave us a starting temperature, right? A temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And from there, if vapor was allowed to be made, right? That it could be occupied by, by vapor. They just wanna know what the corresponding pressure is going to be if that temperature is the same, if it's kept constant, which is 20 degrees Celsius. So basically, they gave us a temperature, which is 20 degrees Celsius, and they want us to know the pressure. And they did tell us that this is of ether, right? Liquid ether, but it's ether nonetheless. So what I did was I pulled up a chart that we can use and there are four different liquids that are on this chart. Now, since they only told us that we're dealing with ether here, we're only dealing with the first slope, right? Here is the ether graph. So we don't care about the ethyl alcohol, the water, or the ethylene glycol. So now we have to start at the temperature that they gave us. And the temperature is the x-axis. So here's our temps. And they did say that we're starting off pretty with 20 degrees Celsius, and voila, here's 20. So I'm just gonna go up this line until I reach the ethyl, uh, the ethyl ether, the, the ethyl ether graph. So I'm gonna go up, 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 and boom, there we go. And that's pretty spot on, I think. That's pretty good. So here is where it intersects. Now I'm just going to take that back to find the pressure. So let's see. Hopefully we make a straight line. Okay, I could deal with that. Somewhere around here, right? So now we just have to figure out, well, what is this? This is a wonky uh, sizing, right? Now we could, we could kind of assume that, let's see, if we started off at 50 instead of 53, from 50 to 80 is 30 numbers away, right? 50, 60, 70, 80, 30 numbers away. We just have to subtract three to bring us down. So 30 minus three is 27. So there's 27 um, kilopascals that are running between 53 and 80. The benchmark is always to find out where the middleman is because that will make life much easier. So if I just take 27, which is the whole thing, and divide it by two, I get one, oh boy. Uh, so two divided by, let's see, one, three, four, three and a half, 13.5. So there's a 13.5 plus a 13.5, right? 13.5 plus 13.5 would equal 27. So now I just have to say, well, what is this middle number? Well, I could take 53 and add 13.5. Now, this is just to get really, really spot on with the money as to what this number is. So this roughly is going to be, whoop, 13.7, Christina. So this is gonna be a five, three plus three is six. So this middle number is 66.5. So I know that I can't be above 66.5. And it looks like my number whatever pressure that is, is kind of like in the middle between 66.5 and 50, 53. So how many numbers are between 53 and 66? 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Um, 60? 16? No, that can't be true. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 13, that may, oh my gosh, that makes sense. I don't know why I just did that, guys. <laughs> it, it's, it's one, ah, just turned 1.58 a.m. It's almost my bedtime. That's why I'm counting on my hands, because my brain is saying to go to bed. But my heart says 
got to do these videos for you guys. But anyway, uh, 13 and a half divided by two, roughly about six. We're just estimating here. So 53 plus six would maybe be roughly around 70. Oh my God, what am I doing? Roughly about 60. <laughs> ah, that was fun. That was absolutely fun. Did you follow that? Because I sure didn't. But anyway, we can estimate that this is roughly around 60, 60 uh, kilopascals. I really, really hope it's 60. Yeah? Seven? I would say so. And that's what I'm going with. So what's the approximate pressure? The approximate pressure is roughly around 60 kilopascals. Is approximately... Uh-oh, got to bring this a little bit over here. So is approximately um, the, the vapor pressure. So it's approximately the vapor pressure at 20 degrees Celsius. And now we are good to go. Let's box this off. And call it a video. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Thank you. I really hope this helped. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's keep studying hard. And if you want, help us out. Press the subscribe button. Um, after this debacle, maybe you don't want to, but that's okay. I understand. But anyway, I gotta go to sleep. So have a good night. Nighty night. Sweetest dreams. And I'll talk to you in another video. Okay, bye-bye.